wondering about those daytime drowsies despite a full night's rest. It might not just be the usual suspects like sleep apnea or insomnia at play. How can you spot narcolepsy? One telltale sign is persistent daytime sleepiness, no matter how much shut-eye you've caught. Ever had a narcoleptic moment? That sudden, unannounced snooze that can hit you any time, anywhere lasting from a blink to a mini catnap. Some folks with narcolepsy also deal with sudden muscle weakness, though not everyone's affected. If you or someone you know is grappling with daytime sleepiness on the regular, uncovering whether narcolepsy could be the culprit is key to getting the right help. Symptoms of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy, a persistent neurological disorder influencing sleep-wake cycles, affects a significant portion of the population, with estimates suggesting around 200,000 individuals in the U.S., though this figure may be higher due to frequent misdiagnoses and lack of diagnosis altogether. Symptoms can manifest at any stage of life, but diagnoses tend to peak between the ages of 15 and 36. The manifestation of symptoms can vary depending on the subtype of narcolepsy one experiences. Narcolepsy is typically characterized by five primary symptoms, often remembered through the acronym CHESS. However, not everyone affected exhibits all five symptoms, with excessive daytime sleepiness being the most prevalent. In fact, according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, NINES, only a minority, ranging from 10% to 25% of individuals, experience the full array of symptoms. While some individuals may notice a reduction or cessation of symptoms over time, as evidenced by a decade-long study involving 38 participants with type 1 narcolepsy. For most, narcolepsy remains a persistent, possibly lifelong condition. Cataplexy. Cataplexy, unique to type 1 narcolepsy, involves a sudden brief loss of muscle control, often triggered by intense emotions such as laughter or anger. Research indicates this phenomenon stems from a disruption in brain circuitry between the hypothalamus, associated with sleep, and the amygdala, linked to emotions impacting hypocretin levels. Typically lasting only minutes, cataplexy resolves spontaneously without any loss of consciousness. The frequency of cataplexy attacks varies widely among individuals, ranging from sporadic occurrences to multiple episodes within a single day. Cataplexy episodes can manifest mildly, with minor muscle weakness like drooping eyelids, facial twitches or tremors in the jaw or knees. In severe cases, a person may experience a complete collapse rendering them temporarily unable to speak, move, or keep their eyes open. Hallucinations. Hallucinations, predominantly visual, are common in narcolepsy and often resemble dreamlike scenarios occurring either while drifting into sleep, hypnagogic, or upon waking, hypnopompic. These hallucinations can be remarkably vivid and occasionally unsettling, reported by a substantial proportion of individuals with narcolepsy, ranging from 33% to 80%. Sleepy all day long. Experiencing excessive daytime sleepiness is a hallmark of narcolepsy, affecting all individuals with the condition and often posing significant challenges in maintaining alertness throughout the day. This persistent drowsiness is accompanied by sudden sleep attacks, which can strike unexpectedly regardless of how much sleep one has obtained. It's not uncommon to find oneself nodding off in various settings, be it at school, work, or even behind the wheel, with reports of individuals drifting into sleep mid-conversation. These episodes of sleepiness can manifest as brief intervals of unconsciousness, known as microsleeps, lasting mere seconds to minutes. Many affected individuals find temporary relief through short daytime naps, albeit fleeting. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is another common symptom, characterized by a sensation of immobility during the transition between wakefulness and sleep, typically fleeting, lasting only seconds to minutes. Individuals usually regain the ability to move and speak once the episode subsides. Reported by a notable portion, estimated between 25% to 50% of those with narcolepsy. Sleep disruption is also prevalent in narcolepsy, with many experiencing frequent awakenings throughout the night or prolonged periods of wakefulness. While waking up during the night is not uncommon for most, individuals with narcolepsy may find themselves grappling with interrupted sleep patterns at a higher frequency with estimates ranging from 30% to 95%. Other Symptoms Apart from the primary symptoms, narcolepsy can also manifest through several other notable indicators. Fragmented sleep and insomnia. Individuals may experience sleep disturbances marked by vivid dreams, sleep apnea, difficulty falling or staying asleep, insomnia, restless leg movements and instances of acting out while in a dream state. Automatic Behaviors 
engaging in activities such as eating, talking, typing, or driving automatically for a brief period after falling asleep, without conscious awareness of doing so. Risk factors and cause. The underlying cause of type 1 narcolepsy is better understood compared to type 2. In type 1 narcolepsy, there's a significant loss of brain cells responsible for producing hypocretin, also known as orexin, a neurotransmitter crucial for regulating sleep-wake cycles. Some individuals with type 1 narcolepsy experience a reduction in hypocretin-producing cells of up to 80% to 90%, leading to disruptions in the brain's ability to maintain alertness and wakefulness during the day. On the other hand, the precise cause of type 2 narcolepsy remains elusive. Unlike type 1, type 2 narcolepsy isn't characterized by reduced hypocretin levels or cataplexy. While some cases of type 2 narcolepsy have been linked to viral infections, further research is necessary to fully comprehend its origins. Several factors can elevate the risk of developing narcolepsy. Genetics Certain genetic factors such as the human leukocyte antigen HLA-DQB10602 have been associated with an increased susceptibility to narcolepsy. Autoimmune disorders. Individuals with autoimmune conditions may have a heightened risk of developing narcolepsy. Family history. First-degree relatives of individuals with type 1 narcolepsy are significantly more likely, with estimates ranging from 10 to 40 times, to develop narcolepsy compared to the general population. Treatment. Treatment options for narcolepsy encompass a variety of approaches aimed at managing symptoms, and improving quality of life. Medications, including stimulants and alerting antidepressants, are commonly prescribed to alleviate symptoms. Additionally, behavior therapy and counseling can be beneficial in addressing specific challenges associated with narcolepsy. Implementing lifestyle modifications can also contribute to symptom management. Scheduling short naps during the day, for instance, can help alleviate daytime sleepiness and enhance overall alertness. In addition to medical interventions and lifestyle adjustments, Seeking support from others who understand your experience can be invaluable. Narcolepsy support groups offer a platform for individuals to share experiences, exchange tips, and provide mutual encouragement.